Yo, what's up everybody? This is Alex Rome and today I'm going to show you this uh, crazy trick that you can use to make all of your songs sound professional and sound more professional even if they're not to begin with. And um, this is like one of those things that's very overlooked and usually when people give me feedback, this is one of the main things I give back to them and that, um, and that is that they're missing this one thing. And that one thing is super special transitions. Because that's what electronic music is. Electronic music, you know, it's not like a rap beat or a rock and roll song where you lay down the four layers, drums, bass, chords, leads, arrange it and call it a day. This one, you have to lay down all that stuff, plus you gotta go farther than that and make it all actually sound good with crazy euphoric effects and uh, you know stuff like that because that's the stuff that ties this genre together you know even in mixes there's transitions in in nice songs there's transitions every eight or so bars every four to eight bars so I'm gonna break down a transition here and hopefully be able to teach you what you could do regardless of your skill level what you could do to kind of step everything up a little bit so Let's go ahead and listen to the transitions that I have from here. We're in the Clueless Days project, by the way, because I am crazy about that project. I can't stop listening. I was listening to this song a lot this week, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Don't forget, we got the EDM Masterclass in the description below that teaches you all this stuff front to back, baby. Teaches you how to write a future bass line from start all the way to finish. No steps skipped. Go check that out, guys. And we got the new sound bank on alexromsound.com, too. Check that out as well. So I'm going to play this. So that whole thing you just heard was like a transition. Transitions have no beginning or end like you can milk them for as long as you want and the longer you milk a transition The better it's gonna sound so in EDM we all know the biggest transition in that genre is the one That connects the bridge or build up we call it to the drop or the chorus so you know when you get like have the drum roll or risers and whatever and then you go into the drop. That's the major transition. So that's where you can get as fancy as you want. So if we look at this transition, it's actually right here. Without any of these transition effects, it sounds like this. It just sounds a little dry. So we're gonna do and obviously there was still a little bit of transition effects there because I still had the bass drop and whatnot but anyway um, so first thing you want to do when you're building a really nice transition is you go to the beginning of your drop which is right here this is the beginning of my drop and you have to look at it for what it is so realistically my drop should start right here which it does but I didn't actually let any of the melodic things start until right here or actually until right here the second kick I believe yeah so and the reason for that is just to make everything interesting so watch drop starts there but I actually made it longer I made the uh, the transition longer by adding one of these that little bass drop so if I mute that you know it still sounds pretty cool but uh, it does, doesn't have that bassy character that it should have bass makes everything bigger so if you want to transition that to sound big then go ahead and add a bass I then had this thing right here right there so without that and without the bass listen how dry it is There's like no character there, it's dry, it's bone dry. But actually it's not because I had that 
glass breaking effect right here and right here and both of those help so if I take those out and like just look at all these layers just just to make this transition perfect we got three four layers what four layers crazy layer up your transitions like there's a lot of things I have a piece of glass breaking on the first kick and we got that down swooping bass line like that but then I needed something to kind of enter us into the big you know where it gets big so I added a sweep like so Isn't that crazy guys so that's just that part of the transition then what you have to think about with a transition is how you can enter into the drop you know as as much as you can before actually dropping the bass so like you can drop all the all the drop layers at once but if you have no transition effects going into it then it's just gonna sound like it's gonna sound really boring and dry so the point of this transition is to get is to get us ready so listen to just these transition effects and this is so important like if you're still watching this like you're you're gonna learn something crazy everybody who cut out early they're not gonna get it ready let's go this is the entire transition from bridge to drop isn't that crazy it's like a song in itself So let's go to the end of the bridge right here. Hear how it's falling? So the point of this is to get us ready for the transition. We didn't even start the transition yet and we're getting ready for it. This is like a build up to the transition. Then right here, we got all these effects right here. And then obviously you got the last little melody. Isn't that crazy guys? Isn't that crazy? So watch how boring this will actually sound if I eliminate every transition effort. So all of these things right here. Even the white noise. Like that. But then you unleash all these transitional effects and it gives everything you just heard life. And that is why we use transitions. Every transition, every like major change should have a transition like right here. Look at that. So listen to this one. This one's beautiful, ready? This one could be a song itself. Isn't that crazy? And look at all the layers that made that up. By the way, all of these are from splice.com. Every layer. And look, look, this you should have your effects panel. So like my effects uh thing layer should be this full. Your effects layer should be this full. There's a lot of craziness here. And without any of this, it's like eating a piece of chicken without any seasoning. It's still chicken. But it's boring as fuck. So there you go, guys. If you learned something, go ahead and give me a uh, thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And turn on those notifications. And of course, what's next? Comments. Comment your thoughts <laughs> in the comment section below. I want to reply to every comment. I promise. 
I'm going to do that on this video. Peace out, guys.